In her own way, Dora was deeply religious, and at each tenth bucket she pulled up, she murmured an urgent prayer that it would contain more water in it than earth. On this particular morning, as she lowered the bucket for its tenth loading, she prayed, Please, let something happen this time. Let something really and truly happen, so I won't have to haul up any more dirt. Something happened almost immediately. As the, as the rope slackened in her hands, indicating that the bucket has reached the bottom, a scream of sheer terror came up from the hole, and the rope ladder jerked violently. Dora fell to her knees and peered down into the darkness. Calvin! She called, are you all right? What is it? Then with startling suddenness, Calvin appeared. At first, Dora was not sure it was Calvin. The usual redness of his face was gone. Now it was yellowish green. He was trembling violently and had trouble breathing. It must have been a heart attack, Dora thought, and tried to hard control the surge of joy that came over her. Calvin lay upon the ground, panting. Finally, he gained control of himself. Under ordinary circumstances, Calvin did not converse with Dora, but now he seemed eager to talk. You know what happened? The complete bottom dropped right out of the hole and all of a sudden it went and there I was, standing on nothing but air. If I hadn't grabbed the hole of that last rung of the ladder, why that hole must be a thousand feet away from the bottom, dropped out of it. Calvin babbled on, but Dora didn't listen. She was amazed at the remarkable way in which her prayer had been answered. If the hole had no more bottom, there would be no more dirt to hold up.